when Princess Catherine and Prince William announced one of the most important decisions to change their lives forever, King Charles, then Prince of Wales, made a seriously cheeky comment, a world away from the realities of being a future king and queen. According to sources, both King Charles and Princess Catherine are now facing health problems. Being diagnosed with cancer has put what matters at the front of their minds. It has probably forced two key royals to really think about what matters. Fast forward to late April 2024, and the king's doctors are sufficiently pleased with the progress he's made through treatment. So much so, the 75-year-old monarch has been cleared to resume some public-facing duties. He paused at the start of treatment. His swift return to a demanding public schedule has sparked anxiety within the royal family, particularly from Princess Catherine, who is acutely aware of the pressures that come with his royal duties. However, King Charles has become Princess Catherine's fiercest champion. Beyond the impact on his daughter-in-law, King Charles's posts resonate with countless others who have found themselves in similar battles. The comment section was flooded with messages of gratitude, hope, and solidarity, as individuals from all over the world came together to share a moment of compassion and support. Over the course of the next decade, the Willies' long-term relationship had its ups and downs, with the pair even breaking up briefly before swiftly reconciling. When the pair finally announced their engagement in 2010, even King Charles made a pretty cheeky remark, alluding to the lengthy courtship. The pair got engaged after William proposed during a romantic holiday to Kenya, but the news wasn't made public until a few weeks later. In a statement, Charles was said to be delighted to announce the happy news. Prince William had informed the Queen and other close members of his family. He had also sought the permission of Ms. Middleton's father. As the news was made public, Charles was visiting Poundbury, an entirely new town built decades ago on land owned by the Duke of Cornwall, and was a passion project of his. He chatted with well-wishers about the announcement, noting that he was absolutely thrilled Catherine would be joining the royal family officially, and poking a little fun at his son and soon-to-be daughter-in-law about how long it had taken them to get to the next level of their relationship, joking they've been practicing for long enough. Recently, Catherine became the first member of the royal family other than the monarch to become a member of the exclusive order of champions of honor when King Charles made her a member. This appointment is a clear demonstration of the trust that King Charles has in his daughter-in-law. Many see this momentous occasion as a stepping stone on the road to Catherine's final reign as queen. As the world watches with bated breath, the royal family's battle against cancer serves as a poignant reminder of the universality of human frailty and the power of hope in the face of adversity. Princess Catherine continues to get better and undergo cancer treatment. In revealing her cancer diagnosis in March, a friend says she has one key focus, her health. In her announcement, she said she must focus on making a full recovery. However, she may participate in events when she feels able. The princess has recently been seen out with her family and running errands alone. According to sources, those close to her are optimistic about her return. As a former palace aide says, the royal family is vulnerable at the moment, and there will be an even greater appreciation that they are human beings with frailties like the rest of us. They are so dedicated in their roles. I think you'll find when Catherine makes a full recovery, she'll come back even more passionate. Meanwhile, Buckingham Palace has received tens of thousands of support letters and gifts for the royals.